Today I'm going to lead you through a quick beginner cardio workout. There is no jumping involved, so this workout is also apartment friendly. It's also small space friendly, and you can pretty much bring this workout with you anywhere because it requires absolutely no equipment. Just make sure you have some space around you. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, today we are going to take it two exercises at a time. Each of our exercises today we'll do for 30 seconds and then we'll take a 10 second rest in between. So your first exercise, we're going to do some marching with the lower body, bringing those knees up as high as we can. And then arms are gonna start up and as you march, you're gonna bring the arms down, almost like you're doing a crunch here. Here we go. So remember to brace your core here and exhale as you bring those knees in. So I'm not hunching over here. I'm just bringing the knees in and I'm bracing my core, so squeezing that core. Nice job. On all of our rests today, I want you to keep moving, whether that's stepping side to side, whether that's just marching in place. Next up, we're rising up on our toes. Then we're gonna to step to the side and touch the fingertips to the ground. So center, side. So we're coming down into a squat position. So send that bum down towards the floor and keep your chest lifted. in place, stepping side to side. We're going to repeat those two one more time and then we'll move on. Starting off with our marches. So this second round, you already know the exercise, so let's try and pick up the pace just a little bit. Yeah, 
repeat those two. Here we go with those step jacks first. Don't forget about your core here. Try to make sure that you're keeping a nice straight back. We're not arching the back as we're standing here. Keep that pelvis tilted under. to this kind of standing lunge position. We're not going to come all the way down into a lunge, although you are more than welcome, as long as you keep proper form. The emphasis on this first exercise is the kick. So we're bracing ourselves here, stopping it here, and kick. Kick. So a super, super strong kick. Here we go. Just one side for 30 seconds. One hand placed on top of another, and we're stepping side to side, bringing your knees to meet your hands, not the other way around, so get those knees up, up. We want to stay nice and light on our toes, and we're not forgetting about our core or the upper body, keep those shoulders back. Remember that you can take this at your own pace. That is the beauty of these timed intervals. I do encourage you to try and push yourself, but remember you don't have to keep up with my pace. Good. So we're gonna switch sides for our kick this time. So make sure you're kicking with the other foot. Here we go. Find that first position. Nice, strong kick. Remember to exhale, use your breath. Side, 
opposite elbow. Here we go. So stepping side to side. So arms coming directly out from your shoulders, palms facing the floor. And we're really swinging that arm, using our core to brace for impact. Keep the movement. Double crunches. Fingertips by your ears. Bring your knees to meet your elbows. center in between each crunch. Nice job. We have one more super set to go. First exercise is just some regular squats. So standing feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're coming down and up. Again, you can take these at your own pace. Second exercise, we're going to kick our bums, standing up on those toes. And we'll add some arms, which I will tell you about later. So let's find our squat position first. If you want to make this a little bit more intensive, you can come down and rise up on the toes. Nice, explosive movement. Otherwise, we're just going down and up. to bumps. Your upper body is going to come out to the side and in like this. So nice strong arms. Step out. As you kick, arms come out. 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 If the arms are screwing up your lower body, trying to find that coordination, you can just do this with hands on your hips. Keep it moving. We are squatting, trying to pick up that pace without compromising our form. Here we go. If you're coming all the way up on a rise, make sure you're evenly distributing your weight throughout your toes. You're not leaning over top of your pinky toes or onto your big toes. And we want to stretch those legs all the way at the top. Okay. 
Good. 30 more seconds to go. Stepping side to side. Kicking your bum. Try to get those heels as close as you can to your bum. If you're doing arms, make sure you keep those elbows lifted. Everything's in line with your shoulders. And arms are strong. would highly recommend that you take some time to take care of your body after this workout today. So make sure you check that out. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you enjoyed